hello guys welcome back to another tutorial so this week i'm going to be sharing with you how to crochet a african granite square so i'm using five colors here of a cleric yarn and my crochet hook is four millimeter crochet hook before we get right into the video do not forget to like share subscribe to my channel and please give my video a thumbs up so we are going to start with a magic circle so we're going to do a chain of three the chain three then we do one double crochet our chain three counts as our first double crochet so we have two double crochets and then we're going to chain one and we're going to do two double crochets and we're going to chain one again until we have a total of eight clusters of two double crochets you're going to chain one and two you're going to do two double crochet so we'll do the first one then the second then chain one so we're going to repeat this for eight times so you have eight clusters in total So at the end of the your first round, you're gonna chain one after you do your after you do your two double crochet, you're gonna chain one and then you're going to go into the first chain three and do a slip stitch. So we are done with the first round. Then I am going to chain one and I'm going to fasten off now. And then I'm going to pull the yarn up the back of the yeah, my magic circle i'm going to pull that yarn to keep it tight so we are going to go in with the second color or the next uh, color So to start the next round, I'm going to start with a slip knot for the next round using another color. Now, you can if you prefer, you can continue. You can continue with the same colors. So now I'm going to find the chain one space. So we are going to work only in the chain one space from the previous row, and I'm going to do a chain of three. So to start, I'm going to yarn over and do a single crochet and that will count as my first chain and i'm going to do chain two so that will be a chain of three and now into the same space i am going to work one double crochet chain one another two double crochet into that same space chain one space from the previous row now we are not going to chain in between we are just going to find i'm going to find the next um chain one space from the previous row and do two double crochet chain one two double crochet and we're going to walk this round this part um this stitch around to we get to the end of the round i will meet you at the end of the round so it's two double crochet chain one two double crochet into the same space So doing my last um, two double crochet, I'm not going to chain one. You're not going to chain one the last um, space. You're just going to find your first chain three and do a slip stitch right there. I'm going to continue with this color of this yarn. I'm going to continue with this yarn. I'm not going to fasten off. Then I go into the next stitch. Um, what I'm doing here is so that I can I can get to the chain one space. I'm going to do two slip stitch now into the chain one space we are going to start our to make the petal so i'm going to start with a chain three as you can see i chain three into the first into that chain one space from the previous row and now we are going to do into that seven six double crochet and please do not forget that my chain three counts as my first double crochet and we are going to work 
six and that will be seven in total so i have seven double crochet into the first chain into the chain one space yes into the first chain one space and now we are just going to continue to do that now without chaining without doing any chaining between we we'll do seven double crochet into each chain one space and we're just going to just keep repeating this so we get to the end of the round just seven single crochet you are not going to chain one we're not doing any chain one in between and find the next chain one space and do another seven double crochet now i'm going to do a slip stitch in the first chain Three space and uh, after the seven double crochet there is no chain of one so you do not need to chain one before you do your slip stitch and that's it this is how it looks like and I'm going to start the next round with another color so the next color is going to help to highlight the I like the petals so now um, you're going to start on top of your first double crochet find the first um, stitch of the first of the seven double crochets you're going to do seven single crochet right on top of it please do not work in the space find your first um, stitch the first stitch of the seven double crochet on the previous row and then we're going to start a single crochet so we are going to do seven single crochets so you do not miss any of this stitch from your previous row you have to be seven double uh, seven single crochet sorry and this will help to highlight the petal and that is my third single crochet there and that's the fourth the fifth six and seven Please count your stitch properly you have seven single crochet now we are going to do a spike single crochet and this we are going to go down into the previous row now that means into your la into the not the last row yes you're going into that space that chain one space on the second row and you're going to do a spike single crochet now I'm going to show you this one more time and please make sure you find your first your first stitch is hiding it's always hiding right behind the spike we're doing seven double crochet right there and we are going to do the spike single crochet going back to the second round and then you find that space where you're going to do the spike so during the spike you just go down and just do a single crochet and pull that yarn a little bit loose and that is how to do a spike single crochet so this is the last single crochet now I'm going to go back down there to do the last single crochet spike and without chaining or anything we are going to i'm going to do my slip stitch to end this round i'm going to fasten off so the fifth round is a little bit complicated but I'm going to explain as easy as I can explain. Um, we're going to work four sides and four corners. I'm using this yellow yarn and um, normally it should be green because it's going to have this 
leaves turn shape and i'm going to show you how i work this four curtains and four sides and we are going to start right there on top of the spike just find any of the spike um single crochet and and now we are going to do a chain of three a chain of three count as our first half double crochet every side we are going to start with a half double crochet so this chain three count as a half double crochet and now we are going to skip one stitch and do four single crochet into the next four stitches so we do a half double crochet skip one uh, skip one stitch and do four single crochet into the next four stitch so now we have four single crochets there and now we are going to skip two stitches and then when you skip st two stitches you are going to be back again right on top of the spike um, um, stitch and there we are going to do our corners so before for the side you're going to skip one to the other side and before you do a corner you're going to skip two i'm going to repeat this before you do a corner you're going to skip two stitches and half there before and after a corner two stitches after you have to skip for the side you have to skip only one before and after and now i'm going to chain one i'm going to repeat this again and we are going to do a treble crochet a three treble crochet into one stitch and how i do it is I wrap my yarn around like a treble crochet but I'm not going to complete it and once I get to, I have two loops on my hook I'm going to yarn over twice again and go in and pull out the yarn and I'm going to pull out through two pull through two loops and I have three loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over again twice like a treble like a treble crochet and I'm going to yarn over twice and when I have four loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over four loops on the hook. So we have the first corner there, it looks like a leaf stem, and we're going to do a chain three. We're going to repeat this again into the same stitch. We're going to repeat this again into the same stitch, just right there on top of the spike, um, the, the spike stitch. And we are going to do a treble crochet. We yarn over twice and we have two we're going to yarn over again and pull through two pull through two again and we have three and then you're going to yarn over twice again go through and pull through two and pull through through and two again sorry and we are going to have four loops and we are going to yarn over the two and we're going to chain one and that is our first corner and as i said previously once you do your corner you're going to skip two chains before and after the corner for the side you skip one chain before and after so now we're going to skip two stitches and then we are going to do four we're going to do the second um the second uh side and we are going to do four single four single crochet Please make sure you count your, uh, your stitch properly. So you have to skip two stitch uh, before, uh, as I mean, before and after the corner. And then we are going to go in and do four single crochet after skipping two stitches. So after the four single crochet we are skipping one and then we're going to the spike and do a half double crochet so that ends the the um, the side and now we are going to skip two and do four 
single crochet and then when we work for single crochet because now we are going to work our con our corner repeating the uh, three triple crochet into one once we do that um, we are going to skip two because for the corner you skip two for the side you skip one right on top again you know your stitch is correct your counting is correct if you are right on top of the spike stitch and um, the spike single crochet and there we are going to do again repeating the same thing three treble crochet into one like I explained in the pre um, previously we are going to just do three treble crochet into one chain three and another again into the same stitch to make our corner So now we just repeat this now i'm going to meet you at the end of the row just keep two stitches and then you do four single crochet and you skip one you do half double crochet on top of the spike skip one and then do four single crochet just as i did in the previous um, um side and just repeat that and then we are going to have four corners and four sides so in case you do not understand please go back to the written pattern that i have put on the screen um previously so the written pattern is on the screen just please go back and just to repeat it just for you to understand how to go about if you're a little bit confused just please go back to the written pattern on the screen and um, i do the four the four single crochet here to complete the side of the the side on the side if you remember when i started i did half of it so the single crochet the last single crochet you're going to do on the road is going to complete the side and then we are going to do a slip stitch right there on the top of the chain three where we started and that completes the four sides in the four corners to start the next round we are going to just go into that stitch where i finish where i fasten enough and we are going to attach the next yarn and this the next um round we are going for this is the last round and it's, it will help us to flatten the square we are going to start with a chain of three the chain of three count as our first half double crochet as you can see here i'm doing a half double crochet then we go into each stitch into each stitch and do half double crochet To work your corners, you are going to work your corners now. I'm going to work my corners now. So to do that, we are going to do three half double crochet, chain two, three half double crochet for the corners. And we're just going to keep repeating that for the corners and do one single once one half double crochet into each stitch so it for the corners is half double three half double crochet chain two three half double crochet
and now I'm going to slip stitch as you can see the score is flattened out after our this is the last round and we are going to fasten off here I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I explained well I hope you understand please leave a comment in the comment section and this is how to crochet this beautiful African flower granny square please do not forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel please give my video a thumbs up I will see you in the next one